Hey folks, Lon Jenkins here. Time to get ready to put down some of this uh, weed killer, this nuts edge weed killer. Um, I'm gonna read the instructions and try to follow it. And this is gonna go over a course of a couple weeks, but I'm gonna make sure that uh, I update you on how I think this product did. So let's get to it. The product says that it takes care of this, that, and the other thing. Nuts, edge, clover, all of that kind of stuff. So I got a couple of clover patches here. And then over here, you'll see this really light patches here of uh, nuts, edge. So let's just take a look at it real quick. And um, I'm going to spray the yard and we'll see what happens. I put my mask on for this. The wind is blowing at my back, so it's coming towards the camera. So nothing is coming up high, but you know, spray it, keep the mask on. That's a good practice. All the light spots here. It's nuts edge. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it got there. This is the north side of the house. So um, nuts edge is considered like a water weed, right? So not much sun gets on this side of the house. So when I turn on the irrigation, I'm assuming that that's a haven for the nuts edge. All right, folks, we are one week and one hour from the last time I spread this nuts edge killer stuff on the line. It looks like it's done a little bit of damage to the clover. Uh, you know, you see some burnt edges there and everything. But if you look in between the clover, where that nuts edge was, it's done some damage there a week out. Um, what I, you know, did was I tried to make sure that I took the video within the same hour, seven days later. So that's what you see. So let's go over here to where those light patches of nuts edge were in. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but they're t starting to turn a little bit brown. So I guess the product is at least working in a week. It's not dead. So don't think that this product is gonna kill everything in one week. Um, even on the package, I believe it says you have to treat it a second time, so. You see some brownish spots. You see some really faded out white spots. So that's what you're going to have. If you have a really green line, you're going to see some brown patches and some faded out spots as this product starts to work. I've been counting Now this spot over here, there was no grass here. I mean, it was all nuts there. So I sprayed it, you know, I used to keep the trash cans over here or old pieces of wood, tires, but I'm trying to build this part of the lawn up again. Um, so definitely is working over here. About to put the second application down. This is it, the Ortho Nuts Edge Killer. 
So we're gonna hook it up to the holes, put our mask on, and just start to spray it again. So this is the second application. So, look at the rabbit. Look at the rabbit. Hey, Mr. Rabbit, I see you. Here's the spot. So, looks like it killed it right there. Killed something. Here's the clover spot. Little edges and stuff. Right there. Here's another spot. It's starting to rain. And then right up here, it killed all of that up there. In there. Killed this. Okay, folks, got caught in the rain. Gotta run. <clears throat> so, here you can see I have the property marked off in square footage. So, if something says spray 5,000 square feet, I can do this zone, this zone, and this back area. So, as long as I stay on this side of the house, that's 3,700. Almost 4,000, and then that's another 1,200. So I have it marked off perfectly. I think all of you should probably do something like this mark off your property so you'll know how exactly how much you're spreading. But let's take a look at what this thing did. I hit a quick spray while I was at it, right here. And it killed a bunch of stuff and the good grass seems to be growing back. So that's just a little small area of about, I don't know, eight feet by three feet. So maybe 24 square feet. So looks like it did something there. But let's go take a look. Now, obviously, you know, if you're looking at my channel, you probably don't have a lot of weeds. I don't have a lot of weeds. So I don't expect to see a ton of brown spots. But it killed this right here. Let me get out of the way. So there was some nut sedge there. Clover. That's a clover line there. It didn't do much damage to the clovers. I don't think it did much damage there. You know, you got you got a couple of browning spots there. So I'll try something else for that. Here's one more clover spot. As you can see, I mean it it damaged it. It's 
definitely knocked out the little nut sedge patches in there and the new grass has grown back. The one thing that I can say about this is it kills so slow that you don't even realize that it's killing because the new grass comes in. Here it killed a couple of spots up in there. Maybe hard for you to see certain things. So here's the question. The question is, would I use this again? From what I can see, if you don't have a lot of weeds and you're looking for a really slow kill, so you just don't have a bare spot until the grass grows in, I guess this is okay. I mean, it's gonna take a while to knock out anything except nut sedge. The nut sedge took about two to three weeks didn't really touch the clover and I can't say if I have any of the other 500 weeds that's on that packaging um, obviously I, I don't know if I do if I do I didn't see it so I guess I would use it again if you don't have many many weeds and you have nut sedge uh, nut sedge generally comes where there's a lot of water um, I do like the fact that it slowly does it kill this that and the other thing nah for me I think it only killed this that and the other thing it didn't do all right this is your boy Lon Jenkins got some more work to do let's get it